A new tour called Let Women Speak is intended to give women an opportunity to speak about gender ideology. Yesterday, the event arrived in New York City. It was near City Hall in Manhattan. And very quickly, trans activists descended on the event and began threatening the attendees. I'd love to ask the producers of the show why one individual's chest was blurred and the other's was not. I can't figure out the distinguishing factor. The police in this incident say nine people were arrested at the event. And Gina Hoke is a pro-female activist. She was among the attendees who was threatened in that video you just saw. She was on the other side of those threats and she joins us now. Uh, Gina, thanks for being with me tonight. What did that feel like in the moment? What was happening? What was the, you know, what was the energy around that event? Um, danger. That was the energy around that event. It was very high energy. It was, um, it was not good. I don't think I expected it to be that bad. Um, obviously we were threatened. Women were assaulted. Uh, police were assaulted. I can't believe actually how much abuse they put up with. And it's upsetting to see the spin in the newspaper that it was either an equal fight or that the police were being brutal against people because that was not the case at all. Tell me what your organization is, I assume, on the other side of this incident, peacefully protesting. What are you hoping to highlight? I came out to join the Let Women Speak um, tour this last couple of weeks because I wanted to exercise my right to free speech with other women. We came out as, again, to be peaceful and talk about the harms of trans ideology. That's where all across the board politically, um, you know, all ages, all abilities, education, everything, and we're joining together because we know what is happening and we want people to know. We want to go to the streets and talk to anybody who is passing by and who will listen. It's almost as though the individuals there in the video that we're seeing on the side of the screen were intent on proving your point. Your event is Let Women Speak, and now you have these men dressed up as women attempting to shout you down, at the very least, shout you down. Absolutely. This is a record of our descent, and they are doing the work for us. They always come out. They show themselves to be everything that we say is the reason that we do not want these people and these men, these violent men, for the most part, in our spaces intended for women and girls. And as you've traveled the country, I'm just curious, what has been your sense of safety? Was this a particularly bad incident in New York, or has you, have you been met with this type of reaction all across America? All across America. I attended um, San Francisco, Portland, Seattle was canceled due to threats of violence, threat, credible threats of violence. Um, we were attacked in Tacoma, and obviously yesterday in New York City, there were security guards hired for Austin, Chicago, D.C., um, arrests made in Tacoma, Washington, D.C., and New York City. What a wild situation today that this right here is controversial, that you standing up for women. What used to be the embodiment of feminism today is now called bigotry. What a fascinating Absolutely. and sad moment of American history. Gina, thank you for sharing your yes. story with us tonight. Thank you so much for having me on. You bet. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.